On today's episode, we talk about scan tools. Now, if you own a BMW, you need to have a scan tool. And there's many different scan tools and flavors to choose from. And to be honest, you can probably find something that fits your price range uh, depending upon your budget. The first OBD2 scanner that I ever bought was this Actron scanner, and I think I paid something like $30 for it. It can currently be purchased uh, at pretty much any Walmart around the country for about $20. They typically carry these in the store. And this will pretty much just do generic trouble codes for your engine. Um, this one is probably close to eight years old and I'm still using it. Uh, it's pretty reliable and I always keep one with me in my car. This is a really great scan tool. I've used it for many years and I think that this is probably a really good first one to pick up for like 20 bucks. Um, however, it does have some downsides, especially if you're getting into, you know, some deeper layers with your BMW, primarily the airbag system, um, the ABS system, or the transmission. When I first bought this, I had an airbag fault in my E39, and I wasn't able to check it myself. So in addition to having this, you also would want to purchase a cheap airbag scan tool, which is the B800 tool. Now these are about 10 to $20 on Amazon, and this will also get the job done. Uh, it has some drawbacks as well. Now maybe like seven or eight years ago, this is a really good tool to have, and you could clear the code. It has some quirky drawbacks to this. You could clear your codes by having to go through the cycle like twice. Uh, if you went through once, it won't delete it, but you have to do it twice with this tool. Um, kind of a weird drawback, and I'm not really a big fan of this tool, but it's cheap, and if you already have one of these, and you don't have enough money for one of these, then you can buy one of these. Next on the review list is one of the Bluetooth OBD2 scan tools. Now, these are really cool. Um, they fit in your pocket, really handy. This is what they look like. I guess this is like a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth adapter, and this has the same matching pins. Look how small this thing is. This is really cool, fits in your pocket, very handy, and this is substantially more useful than this standard OB tool here. Um, I think I paid like $20 for this. I would definitely recommend it. Um, this will tell you freeze frame and live data, uh, such as like your oxygen sensors or you know your fuel trims, their freeze frame data uh, for emissions, um, whereas this is really basic. Um, this is pretty much like the caveman scanner. This will only give you generic trouble codes. Um, whereas with this one, you're gonna have to buy an app for your smartphone. I think the app was like 10 bucks. There's several different ones that are compatible with this scanner. And basically what you do is plug this into the car, take out your phone, and you can look at all of the data for your car. Okay, so what are the drawbacks to this little tool? Um, sometimes these are kind of funky, they have like connectivity issues, and they're not very user friendly, um, whereas something like this, you plug in and it works every time. Um, this one has to go through the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection with your phone, and sometimes pairing these and getting them connected can be a little bit tricky and frustrating. Now the other drawback to one of these pocket scanners is that it's not going to access the airbag system, SRS, uh, the transmission, brake, ABS. It's not gonna be able to let you clear any of those codes or check them. Um, so you're gonna need something a little bit more powerful. That brings us to the last scan tool here. This is my most recent purchase. Uh, this tool is awesome. Um, I think I paid $60 for it on Amazon. And this will let you do everything that all of these other tools will do combined. Uh, this will do your airbag. It will do transmission. You can reset the adaptations. Um, it pretty much does everything that uh, one of the more expensive, like Snap-on Solus scan tools, will do. Um, and I used to work at a shop while I was uh, while I was in college, and my boss at the time purchased one of those Snap-on Solus uh, scan tools, and I think it was like ten thousand um, dollars. So yeah, for sixty dollars, you can pretty much do 
almost everything to my knowledge, everything that I've needed to do. So yeah, this is great. Uh, let's go out into the car and I'll give you a little demonstration of what this guy looks like while it's turned on and plugged in. Okay, here we go. Sometimes this thing can be a little slow. Let's see here. Okay, so there's no codes stored in my car currently. If there was a code, I would just go down to erase and it can be erased. Now we can also get into the transmission control. If we go back to the main menu here, we can go into chassis, body, So under this setting, we have ABS. Uh, you can also do tire pressure monitors. And that's just a taste of uh, some of the menus and capabilities of the Creator C310. If you're in the market for a new scan tool for your BMW or any of the cars that you own, this is the guy to go with. As always, I'll put the link for this in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please smash the like button and subscribe.